<laughs> he, he's his screen is in the first. Hey, did you hear the rumors about Rush getting back together? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're not right. They're not. Some people get like offended. They take. They get mad in some of these discussions I've seen online. So we're going to have a discussion about that so that we can make Tim mad. <laughs> are you telling us? Uh, are we recording? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm not telling you. <laughs> All right. I'm telling um, our, our fresh fan friend, friend fan, fun, right. flim flam. Oh, here. hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Every rush so, fan. Yeah. I love a good awkward start. <laughs> yes. So, so instead of that, we're just going to like toss around our ideas of what would be cool, what might be possible, that sort of thing. Yes. Watch this buzzing. It's going to be the shortest show ever known to mankind. That's and quite thanks possible. for listening. But it's a big topic, something everybody's always talking about. It's for, a wish list. For example, first, the one I sent y'all yesterday with the announcement that Rush found a new drummer, and it's the Muppet Animal. Pretty funny. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, the, the thing is, though, he just wouldn't fit because, as I pointed out, He's more of a classic rock drummer. He doesn't have the precision that Neil yeah. had. Uh, so I don't think really he could pull it off. Also, I think he's a puppet. <laughs> no, he's a there's Muppet. That. Oh, that's right. He's a Muppet. He's a Muppet. Yes. There's a difference. There hmm. is a difference. So give me an idea you know, for a beer Thursday I, episode. I feel like it's time to put on makeup. Okay. It's time to light the lights. Oh, okay. It's time to get things started on the beer. Every what's what song? <laughs> what show is this? Every rush every song rush show. Yes, night. Yes. yes. So, uh, Jay. Mm-hmm. This little, 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 little words. Words are difficult. Words. This adventure was was your idea when we were together hanging out last week. Mm-hmm. Do I- you have like a like a like a possible wish they would do, think they should do anything like that sort of thing. Well, first of all, I take no responsibility for anything that I have done uh, or am going to do or have done, will be in the process of doing right now. Oh boy. Second of all, I think you wanted you to laugh more too. <laughs> second of all, uh, I would Don't like to say me. on my behalf that, it would be great to see Alex and uh, Getty do something in a rush type of thing. I think I would rather see some sort of a, a tour that would be maybe a very limited because Alex can't, you know, he's got the arthritis and it's going to be difficult for him to, to be on the road for a long time. But I think it'd be interesting to do for them to do sort of a reunion a get together a tour as uh a celebration of neil peart not a you know it's rush music but it's it's a celebration of neil peart and what better to celebrate than to bring some of the more or most talented drummers on the road with them to sit in on songs like i'd love to see dave Grohl. i'd love to see i think as uh, long as it doesn't take away from tim's recording every rush song episodes i'm okay with yeah, that idea yeah yeah well i mean tim is the first one i know but then i did i said uh i said that it would be a tribute to neil if tim was there then they'd be like oh my god we need to go back on the road because we found our replacement <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that would be bad. But I right. think if they were to do something, it should be something like that. On another note, I would love to see them do something together uh, that is creative, that is, but isn't. It can't be rushed. You know, rush is rush is done. Sadly, I like that idea, Jay, because then they don't they can play a little bit. I'd like some storytelling, telling time in between, some reminiscing. Yeah. Like a talk with some music. And that way, 
they're not overextending vocals, uh, you know, yeah. the Alex's yeah. arthritis, that sort of thing. Actually, yeah. And you know, hell, they can even, they can even bring in extra musicians if they wanted to, but I think it would be cooler to just them and then whatever drummer is going to come out and sit in with them for a couple of songs and, and that, but yeah, have a little bit of time. So, you know, they play like maybe they only play, play like what, 10, 12 songs as opposed to 20 or so. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all the time yeah. we have today because Thank we don't you. really care what Tim, no, um, Tim, Tim, Tim down there. Jay, no. I, I think what you were saying would have been absolutely awesome. 10 years ago. You mean before if Neil we, died? Well, no, no. If, <laughs> let's just, if, no. That would have been a hell of a tribute. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not no. dead yet. <laughs> if Neil had passed before that 10 years ago, oh, I So you're I, saying you I, wish yeah. he had died or sooner. Okay. I'm doing, wow. some kind of, Tim. doing some kind of tribute thing, getting in Alex. And yeah, I like the idea. You yeah. Know, uh, bringing different drummers. I think the issue is, is that. When you went to a Rush concert, and especially a Rush concert as a drummer, you were just expecting Neil to play whatever song that it was. You know, maybe throw in something cutesy and different here or there. But, you know, like if Neil wanted and decided to do an improv thing on his drum fills on Tom Sawyer, and he didn't do it the way we've been hearing him do it for decades, there would be people upset and really upset. What you're going to hear from the people with somebody else on the drums is, well, yeah, he can't do it. He's, he's not Neil Peart or, dude, wh why'd they even take him if he can't? I mean, so what if he can play 90% of Tom Sawyer? He can't play a hundred percent of Tom Sawyer. <laughs> I think the well, idea in, was, would be great, but golly, to limit it to ten or twelve songs. I'm, I'm just in defense that's of just Jay's, an example. In right. defense of Jay's oh, idea, no, 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 right? Jay, but, Jay said I, we're not calling I, it Rush. It's a tribute to Neil. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so, remember? Hey, remember the featuring great, Alex and Getty. Re remember the great female band Heart. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Now, as I like to call not, them, not, band. Right. Uh, I'll put labels. Yeah. You know, Good they, point, Jay. They, Good point. They didn't have, have you know what happened to them uh, losing a member and all that stuff, but you know there was a time when they they weren't hurt anymore. They changed their name to something else. Starship. And, no, Less it wasn't ventricle. Starship. Um. I think I think it was the order. It was just uh, heart spelled backwards. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You're speaking it Klingon work. now. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't uh, work. Everybody, everybody just called them heart. Everybody's just going to call uh, them rush. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I for two know. for two members of a band like that. To say, hey, we're going in, we're going to do something, but this is not Rush. I think Bull most... crap. Getty can go do his own music. Alex can go do his own music. And nobody calls it Rush. You put them two together. So you don't want to ever Rush. hear them do anything together. I would love them to. I would love them to. I, I think we may get some things here and there. But studio, I don't think we're going to see them play live again. And even I like a, a mini tour. I mean, let's say it was eight eight cities in the United States. I don't think yeah. we're going to see that. Number one, they haven't done it in a few years now. And in these last few years, they're not in shape. They're not in physical shape for performing an hour and a half concert. Right. Yeah. They're, they're just not. Getty was having some 
and okay, Rush fans, I'm sorry, but when they were getting ready to do that whole thing for Neil and stuff, and Alex and Getty were appearing and they were playing like closer to the heart. Getty's vocals weren't that great. He had not been singing. So it's going to take them both some time to get in shape to do any kind of even small tour. Yeah. Well, let's, and, fa and, let's and, face it. And, I mean, Getty's now, voice was not that great towards the end of their, it wasn't as the Getty that we're used to towards the end of their touring. I mean, there were some things he had to change, you know. Um, he just adapts. Clockwork gotta, Angels and, yeah. and with the R40. but He adapted. And you know what? I think I would love to hear him adapt his voice yet again. Right. Uh, and, and, and at least the, the, the greatest thing was at least Getty wasn't doing what most of our 1980s, maybe a little bit sooner into the 90s rock gods are having to do now and that's to grab the microphone say a word and then point it to the audience yeah. so they can finish singing the song uh, okay at least willie nelson has the decency to talk sing right <laughs> like, yes 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 uh, but uh, that like, would be but that would be funny if getty lee just got this my new warrior me 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 so and so, was here again would i love it <laughs> Yes, I would. But you know what? I remember hearing an interview with Alex, and this was years ago, talking about would they be one of those bands to ever call their last tour the farewell tour? And, you know, that, that was at the time when, like, you know, I think Elton John had done one of those, uh, Kiss had definitely done one of those. Uh, the Rolling Stones had done the farewell tour. And then it was, oh, lads, guess what? We're out of money. Let's go back on tour again. It's not a farewell tour. <laughs> well, they were Kiss never kept their word. When, when they announced they're going to do their first farewell tour, they kept their word and retired. But what they didn't tell us was that farewell tour was going to be 10 years long. Right. Well, yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's true. So, so, you know, they were never going to be that band. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, boy, that would be great if they could put, if they could put something together. Of course, I'm going to go, but I, I think I, I kind of like it the way it is. I, 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 I'd, I'd like to see both of them do some solo stuff, you know, but, there, or, or better yet do this, get your playing chops together, find yourself a drummer. By the way, you can reach me at blah, 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 and go and number. find a, 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 a female lead, a female lead singer in Vietnam. And, and, uh, right. Just like she, a really good band. Why, why not? And you don't have to worry, Getty, about the vocals. We got She Can Hit It All. Boom. It's awesome. Hey, I heard a band recently, and it was a, it was a younger uh, person. I mean, she, she's probably in her early 20s, and she was singing some pretty good vocals on, on some Rush. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely doable. Here's what I think. I think they should get together, Alex and and uh alex and uh uh what's his name uh getty getty they should get together grab a drummer any drummer will do and call themselves rash now that would be funny go out on the road as a really not not as good as rush cover band <laughs> okay you mean they're, they I are there i would base right own yeah. cover band is that what you're saying? Yeah, the, they they're, could be their, their own, own cover band, band. Yeah. as Rash. Huh. Rash, yes. Okay. yes, with with any drummer, with yeah. any drummer will do. Like, like I mean, Tico Torres, Ricky I Rocket. I would say it would need to be a drummer that's actually good enough to sound not great. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I understand yeah. where you're coming from. Well, th there's probably a reason why Getty's book tour hasn't come to Dallas. 
Yeah. So that that tour, if it were to happen, probably wouldn't make its way here. Road why trip. do you don't think? Why do you, why don't you think Eddie uh, Getty's come to Dallas on his? I just think it's it's a lot. It's probably a lot of work. Probably mm-hmm. pretty hard. Pretty pretty tiring. Is he coming to Dallas? I mean, to Dallas? Th- th- and that's why I was saying. What do you know? If, do you know? If, this was, if this was 10, 15 years ago, and yeah. Eddie and Alex were younger, and right. even though they had not played in a little while. They, you know, it would be easier to get themselves back into shape and then plus, go do this. I just yeah, think plus now Neil could join them. <clears throat> Sorry. But he could because he would. Yeah. Okay. If you put it that way, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. Again, you're not understanding what I'm saying, and now I'm getting upset. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. And Alex, I think I said he's not going to tour, but then be of none. Yeah. Or- Probably. Did yeah. you did, now? I think yeah. I've, I've said this a couple of times, and my idea is to record some new music, and I'm thinking more of like just a percussion thing than maybe than full kit drummer, maybe small kit, but I because and Rick Rubin, the way Rick Rubin, the work he did with older musicians later in their career, you know, Johnny Cash, Neil Diamond, I think that would be slightly more realistic. I and, love it. I love it. And that I think idea. it would be something magical, right? I mean, it's not going to be Neil's lyrics. It's yeah. not going to be Neil's exceptional drumming. Yeah. Going to be some, some toned down guitar. It might even be all acoustic. Not going to have the super cool bass fills and runs and about, not any of the screaming, but I think. How about they do this and they, they, they call themselves, uh, oh boy, life, Lee and Lifeson. You know, just do an acoustic okay. thing. Doing like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be good. I I think it'd be fun. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay. We'll put that together. I think that's an even better idea. I like that yeah, idea. That, say that that would be a cute idea. You know, I mean they pulled that cute. little acoustic set uh during the Vapor Trails tour. And then the R thirty tour where they did a couple of songs. You know, they took a song from Test for Echo. A resist and just Getty and Alex did it, and it's awesome. And everybody loves it. it. Live. it yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And then they did a song. Uh, which tour was that? Album. They could read was it to test for Echo? Yeah, no, no, uh, Vapor Trails, Vapor Trails. Okay, yeah, Vapor Trails. I'd like to hear what Rick Rubin could do with Rivendell. Oh, me too. Oh, my, well, God. maybe not Rivendell, yeah, not <laughs> you know. I mean, there, there there's some some stuff that they could they could pull out some of the older Rush songs and just do it that way. That would be cool. But yeah. I think th- that okay. would be something yeah. interesting. Yeah, because yeah. then and then that point you don't really need uh, a, a drummer. You right. know, it's just acoustic. You could have some, maybe if you want to have a percussionist, just adding a little, you know, ambiance to it. Fine, but I I think it'd be yeah. That'd be, that's a great idea. But so glad. I win. You win. Yes, you win. <laughs> Wham. But Tim, Tim, there's always a big but. It's no, I'm just, I, I'm just saying, I mean, it's done and it's okay. It's yeah. okay. okay. It's okay. I think it's time for, it's time to, to realize that Rush. Rush is, is 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 done. They're over. Unfortunately, Rush is no more. Okay, when Jim, Neil I'm sorry, when Jim. Neil passed away, Jake, can't you see what you're doing to him? <laughs> I mean, the, come on, you can't have Rush without Neil. Period. End of story. Yeah. No. Yeah. Unless. I mean, no. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless. I mean, we G- wish. Getty, Getty has been. Recorded, and there's no replacing anybody in this band. No. And there's some sense in thinking about it. Get no. over it, guys. If you did not see them, sorry. Guess what? I win because I did. Go back. It would time. kind of be a dis- it'd be a disservice, I think. To uh, you know what? I never saw the Beatles either. Would not I have been either. able to. But I never still, s- I never saw Elvis. But that's, right, that's one guy. 
It's one guy. It's you true. you never yeah. give me your money. You no. only give me your funny papers. <laughs> you never give me your money. Well, that's what we think would be okay ideas for them to do next. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? <laughs> I don't even have COVID anymore. Well, that's what yeah, we think. Yeah, there's throat. <laughs> yeah, but I might throat. That's what we think Alex and Getty could do next. But we want to know what you think. Call Tim. 2112 at everyrushsong.com. That's his phone number. Catch us on the Soch at Every Rush Song. I can play in the mood. You mean you can play if you're in the mood? No, I can play the song in the mood. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. You hear, <laughs> you hear that, Alex? <laughs> Tim? Tim, who are we telling goodnight tonight? 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 Because they asked for it again. Thank you very kindly, Santa Fe. Good night.